Meet Bicycle! Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Legendary Run Ultimate Vault Hunter Mode Speed Farms. Today we are in episode 3 and uh, recording straight off the bat actually from episode 2 in which we farmed um, Rooster Booster for his legendary uh, Ozkit, the uh, Oxidizer. So today we're carrying on, we are in Triton Flats and we're going to be farming for the Zim. Now this is one that I have not been looking forward to because although it's not too hard to kill you have got to go around the whole area very 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 carefully and check all these craters pick all this stuff up and just check because the amount of times i've found the zim and it's been like in there is uh, unreal so i don't want to uh, spend too long doing this but you can obviously pretty much see that you've got to check all the little nooks and crannies um, to actually do that. But today we are going for the Zim and that is run number one and we're going to go in for run number two now. So the Zim is in Triton Flats and it is in the area as you come out the dark side of the tower it's in that area over there. Um, it's a legendary pistol and you get it during the bunch of ice holes side mission I believe which you get from Nurse Nina pretty early on in the game uh, in which she'll tell you to pick up an ice drill and come over to this area and start drilling ice you'll fight two big sugar earths a load of them little wrathy things whatever they're called and uh, after that the giant ice uh, sugar of ice will come up and uh, you can fight him and hopefully get yourself a zim if not hand the mission in and uh, come back and farm them for the zim so this is run number two uh, I'm going to put a guess in right now with 14 runs, 14 runs, I'm going to go a bit higher than last episode um, and hopefully we can get it in that time, but I've got a feeling it'll probably be more, in fact should I guess 14, no, 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 I'm not being, I'm not being drawn into this trap, I'm going to say 22 runs, 22 runs will be my guess, I always change my mind, but I changed my mind last episode and it worked out pretty well, so hopefully we can do it in this episode as well. Um, right, let's check the crater then. Check the old crater. The good thing about this is, although it's annoying having to look up, see, look, Moonstone down there, that could have quite easily been a Zim. Even though it's annoying having to look round and do all this, a lot of the stuff they drop is ammo, so it should keep my ammo up quite a lot. Um, but no, that's where that one dropped. There's normally two drops though, so, have I seen the second drop? It's not always guaranteed though, so, I'm not going to rely on it being the uh, second drop. But yeah, I'm going to say 22 is my guess. And I'm going to write that down this time because halfway through the last episode, I forgot what my guess was. <laughs> Completely forgot what it was. So uh, yeah, not going to make that mistake again. So let's get ourselves a car and head back. Now, although this one, I said I've not been looking forward to as well because it's... Uh, it's annoying having to look around all of that stuff. It is tolerable. It is tolerable. What isn't going to be tolerable is the next episode, which is a uh, crisis scar, and we're going to be going after Bruce for the supernova. And the only reason that's not tolerable is it's not too bad a run to get to the area where Bruce spawns. But the three waves of enemies that are before it are annoying. They're not hard to kill at all, especially on a character like this where I've got the uh, the insane high kill skills when I actually get kills. Um, so once I've killed one guy, um, it should be downhill from there really, but it's just having to fight through three waves of enemies just to farm a boss that isn't even guaranteed to, uh, to drop anything. So, uh, and yeah, okay, I saw that green assault rifle come out, but that's about here. We'll let all the dust settle down there, because normally I used to run straight into that crater, but by the time I'd had a little look and then started to come back out, loot was still sliding down there so I was like okay I'll have to go back down there and look again so I'll always start from the top and work your way down also I found the Zim there before as well so uh, don't just be drawn into this bottom crater right here uh, look at that I found the Zim there as well before so that's why you've got to check absolutely bloody everywhere uh, but that is another negative I think but the possibility of us actually 
finding the zim, uh, sorry, getting the zim to drop and then running past it are quite high because I'm not prepared to sit there and check every single inch. I'll have a good look at the area, but I'm not going to go absolutely everywhere because there's no point. It will take too long and you probably will see the zim if it drops anyway, but it's just not a nice area. Do you remember in the first episode with the... Um, even more disgusting talk where I actually drew him out of the area where he spawns because you can't see a thing drew him onto some nice flat land I wish I could do that here but this ice sugar riff is slow as hell and uh, I don't even know if he'd move over there it'd be nice if you could get him into like this little cabin here and uh, he'd drop it down here but I really don't think he will I don't think he can get past that either but uh, it would just take so long as well the sugar do move though because that one that spawned just down there um, behind him uh, does come towards you uh, that guy there does come down here so that guy could come up here I don't know I'm not sure on that one no, let's just get that let's get all this ammo from around here it's nice to keep the uh, the flayers ammo up right we've got a green Oskit there moonstone right there uh, and the assault rifles there so that's two drops don't be fooled that there's two drops though and you think well if one's not the zim then it can't be it because there you go there's three drops there so it's all totally random there's nothing down here and there's nothing on the sides nope that's another unsuccessful run then right four runs down and we're about six and a half minutes in which isn't too bad really I have got 15 minutes left on this, so hopefully we can get it to drop. If not, we'll have to carry it on into the uh, to the next episode. But I'll like to try and keep all these in one recording, one smooth recording, so uh, you guys can see that it's farmed completely legitimately in the amount of runs that I say it is. <clears throat> but obviously, uh, even if I have to go on to record tomorrow and join these up runs up, I do it normally totally legitimately because why would I you know farm something 40 times and then say oh it only took three runs that would just not be uh, accurate and it wouldn't benefit me in any way so yes but I, just for legitimacy purposes I do like to keep these all in the same recording right let's get this guy down then see I try and look for his loot drop in I can see two green assault rifles drop there wow that flew but that's not loot normally um, but yeah sometimes I've, I've looked really carefully seen two things drop in that are to, like two greens gone okay it looks like it's two greens so I go down there and check anyway and the zim has just magically appeared right there and I thought can you actually see the zim dropping or not I'm not sure if you can or it might have just been my eyes not seeing it properly because I was focusing on too many things at once but yeah, the amount of times I've looked for the Zim drop and I haven't seen it when it dropped and then all of a sudden it's down here in this crater is unreal. So never go by uh, by what you think you're seeing dropping out and never quit out straight away. Always come down here and actually farm, uh, actually check your farm, sorry, because like I said, I've done it loads of times where I've gone, nope, nothing's dropped, no point in even going down there, but I'll go down there anyway and there it's been. It's not an easy uh, thing to see though, uh, an orange line in uh, all that white snow. You'd think the um, legendary colour would show up pretty easily, but it really doesn't. It really doesn't show up very well. It's not a pure white either, it's like a purpley white, isn't it, looking at it? But it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's one of them colours that snow really doesn't suit it at all. But the sooner we get out of the snow, the better, because we've had this, we've had these uh, annoying colours for the disgusting talk, and uh, now we've got these annoying colours for this guy. But after this, we should be good to go, and uh, have a nice surface with uh, where Bruce spawns, actually. Even though Bruce will probably bring us a problem as well, because if we don't draw him out towards the centre of the map a little bit, his loot does tend to drop off. Uh, the side of the barrier because he spawns so close to that barrier if you kill him near that and he, I've once got the supernova to drop and it started going over the barrier and I just had to literally lunge myself off the barrier catch it in midair and then fall to my death because I was not prepared to let that fall into the abyss without me going with it that was quite funny actually I, I don't think I've 
got that on the recording as well. In fact, I'm pretty sure I hadn't, but that would have been so funny as part of a legendary run or something like that. For me to just bail over a barrier and catch my falling shield and then fall to my death. Well, there's no loot drop this time, really, I don't think. None at all. What is going on there? Maybe it's gearing up for a drop next time, then. You never know. If he withholds it one run, will he drop more the next? No, he won't. <laughs> but it'd be funny if he did. It'll be good if he did. Okay, next run, then. Let's get our player ready now. Look at that big H. It's weird to see it so close, actually. Obviously, we are closer to it, because we're on the... Uh, in and around the moon base, but uh, in Borderlands 2, they were always right far like over there in the distance, and uh, now it's like right in front of you. Cool to see that. I'm glad they finally, uh, they finally did the moon, though. There was going to make it, uh, there was talk, sorry, there was requests to make it a DLC in Borderlands 2, but that would have been pretty cool, actually, but it's nice that they did make a game out of it, to be honest. A lot of people don't like the pre-sequel, but uh, I think it was nice that we did actually get to go to the moon base. It's better than nothing. Right, sugar if down. Do I see any drops? I see nothing. Nothing at all there. Oh, there's a green os kit there though. Any sign of a zim? Ow. Would you like to screw off? Please. Right, let's have a look up here. Something up here, but. Bit of money, bit of dollar. Uh, we'll pick that up. I know we've fought. So there's quite a lot down here, but it's all ammo and stuff. See, again, look, drops down there. That is normally where, I say 90% of the time, <coughs> that is where I always find the Zim. But it's not always guaranteed, so you can't rely on that. Run number eight, then. so good to be back doing this as well I really 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 love doing this just sitting here farming all day most people it drive them insane but uh, yeah it's definitely one of my favorite things to do in Borderlands legendary farming I could do it absolutely all well I do do it all day most of the time but uh, admittedly I don't sit here recording it like live like this or every day but uh, for videos and stuff like legendary weapon guides where you got to get the drop or even legendary runs when I'm farming off camera by myself this is uh, this is the life for me just sitting here <clears throat> with a YouTube video on feet up sat back and uh, just doing this over and over again a lot of people get bored with it but uh, I find it quite therapeutic sometimes plus I like a challenge and uh, I do like that challenge of actually having to get it to drop. Um, bit of money flew up here. Right, let's go clear all this stuff up. What's that over there? Is that our drop? Wow, that was our drop. So that just goes to show that the Zim could appear at that point at some point as well. Let's grab all this if we can. Load of health. Don't know why we need all that health. It hardly touched us. Ammo. What's that? Oh, hello. Wow. Well, I was really far off on that one. That was five, six, seven, eight runs. Eight runs. And we got the Zim. There you go. Nice. So our slot two is our pickups. Our slot 2 is a Zim, actually. Well, that's the Zim that we got. So, uh, yeah. Zim time. Well, I'd best drop something then, because uh, I want to pick that up. Just so, even if I do sell it. Um, what do I want? Don't want that. 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 Wow, look at all these skins. There you go. That's emptied my inventory a lot. So, we've got ourselves a Zim, guys, in eight runs. Really happy at that. I th Wow, I was well off with my prediction there. I thought it would take 22, and it actually took 8. So, uh, boom. Can't believe that. That's brilliant. That is brilliant. 
So let's give it a little test out anyway, as we always do. But uh, it's going to be a nice shortish episode today then. 14, uh, 14 minutes long. Right, uh, here we go then, little dark siders. Let's get some kill skills in you and let's just rip through all of you very quickly while we're in showdown. Magma Rivers is taking a long time to get down, but he can sod off. He can sod off. This guy can stop coming up behind us. Yeah, see normally the Zim is pretty crap actually, but when you've got this uh, these amount of kill skills on Nisha, especially where you get the increased critical hits when you uh, make a kill, it definitely is more beneficial but yes we got ourselves a zim today anyway guys in eight runs really happy at that there it is pointy zim uh possibly it might have been the other one actually we did get two but i already had one in my inventory um we did get one to drop but it might not be it but this is the zim that we got anyway would you like to know more no i wouldn't go away um <laughs> i don't like the zim at all it's not my favorite weapon by a long shot but uh, yeah there we go that is episode three done and uh, really happy that didn't take very long at all, uh, and I was worried, like I said at the beginning, I only had about 15 minutes recording to get that to drop, and uh, well, I had about 20 minutes when I first started, and it's uh, 16 minutes in, so I'm going to go get myself uh, away now, and uh, hopefully go for my last night shift, hopefully we can uh, do some more recording tomorrow, where we will go for Bruce um, in Crisis Scar, for the Supernova Shield, and then we'll go for uh, Red Belly for the striker. So I'm looking forward to them. Oh, Neon Parsec's come to celebrate with me. To infinity and the roof. Let's slam down on this shack then, open this chest up and then we can head on out. But uh, yeah, really happy at that. That is episode three anyway, guys. If any of you guys said eight runs in the uh, comments of the last video for the Zim, then congratulations, you are totally correct and uh, your name will be appearing in the description and the comments as well as a uh, well done for actually guessing it right so get your guesses in now for the legendary supernova shield that will be our next farm from bruce over in crisis scar but for now thanks for watching everyone and uh, i'll see you guys in the next one